Oh, hello, traveler. I would Skip. like to. The gold is on the other side, so you need to. Skip. And without that, you need to go to the first Skip. left and outside of the town, so you don't need to yep. go Skip. about these guys, kill them, shoot them, and. These long dialogue boxes just blow my mind. The Outer World Spacer's Choice Edition is a single player first person action RPG. The story begins as you are awakened from decades of cryosleep by Dr. Phineas Wells and you are quite literally launched onto the Halcyon colony where you discover a conspiracy that threatens the entire society of those planets. And you're gonna start the game with building character in quite details including perks, abilities, all the stats, all the visuals and then you're gonna enter mostly open world where you explore two planets, get into trouble and shoot your way out. But you don't always have to shoot your way out and in fact this game emphasizes choice which is good. It's not trying to be a first-person shooter and the strength is not in the shooting. The strength is in the choices. There's lots and lots of dialogue choices. Some of them are locked behind certain levels of skills. Some of them depend on your instinct about which way you want to approach the situation. And you can also bring in companions and manipulate multiple morality systems, lots of gray areas to decide if you want to have a more aggressive or a more charming or a more criminal approach to any situation. But if you do get into trouble and you need to shoot your way out, there's a good amount of variety of weapons, mm -hmm. a slow motion skill that is especially helpful to get these headshots. And out of the two components that you already talked about, there's total of six of them that you can find in the world. And this edition includes not only the base edition with two big worlds and just hundreds and hundreds of NPCs to talk to or shoot. This is the Spacer's Choice Edition that includes both of the DLCs, that's Peril on Gorgon and Murder on Eridanos, both of which take about two hours maybe to complete. This edition also increases the level cap to 99 and claims to have some graphical overhauls that honestly you don't see a big difference, but it is part of the edition. And the game whole will take you about 20 hours, that is including the DLCs. But the question is, should, should you, you space, space it? it? But first, you should know that this game, the entire Spacer's Choice Edition, is going to be free from the Epic Game Store for one week starting April 4th, 2024. And that is what we do on this channel. We play and review every free weekly game from the Epic Game Store. We've been doing it for about five years now. So if you subscribe, you will never have to be bored ever again. This game is from creators Obsidian, so creators of Fallout New Vegas. It feels a lot like it, except it's not after Fallout, so it's a lot more colorful. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more funny moments. Mm -hmm. There's a less, uh, less big world, I would say. The world itself is interesting and everything about it is it's good. It's okay. It's nothing too good, but there's one big thing that I have a problem with. This game is disaster on performance. Mm. Even today, after all the updates on our RTX card, even on low settings, it's stuttering, it can crash on you. And just because of this, if they would fix it, I would say, yes, go for it. But because of this, I say, no, mm. don't waste your time on it. It will be probably unplayable for you. It struggles even on PlayStation 5. That is true and I think completely legitimate. So from my perspective, I'm gonna put that aside and say, okay. without the performance issues, there are a few things that could definitely be better about this game. The combat is standard, it's nothing nothing special, there's nothing unique there. But as I said, it's not supposed to be an FPS. It's about mm. the world and the choices that you have about how to play it. It is a role-playing game mm -hmm. in the end. Mm -hmm. And for that, if you are okay with reading lots of dialogue options, because you do need to read them carefully to decide how you're going to approach each situation, the 
whole point of the game is in those dialogues, in the choices, in the morality, and deciding what kind of person you want to be in this world. If that appeals to you, I think this is a very interesting world that presents you with very interesting options to play it in very, very different ways, and it could definitely be enjoyable. If you're looking for something where you can shoot them up and skip all the dialogues and where the performance is going to be very, very smooth, then probably not. <laughs> but I enjoyed my time with it, so I'm actually going to give it a thumbs up. Okay. And I think we should tell everyone that Fallout, actually, most of them were free on Epic. Mm -hmm. So go on and watch that reviews next if you've never seen it because you miss a lot. Hope you enjoy that video next and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.